Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Curly Girl Angela G, and today we're going to do a project pan get ready with me and create this look. So grab some coffee, settle in, and let's just jump right into it. All right, so we're back to old school YouTube where I have water on my shirt and my hair is drenched because I didn't feel like taking the time to blow dry today because it's much later in the day than I usually film. But I did already do skincare, including the Super Goop Super Screen Hydrating Daily Cream SPF 40 that's in my project pan. I'm making pretty good progress on this. It's not my favorite sunscreen, but it's not bad. So now we're gonna go in with primer. I'm gonna see if I can get any out of this because it's almost done. It's the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. And I absolutely love this stuff. So let's see if we can get enough out of here to do my face today. I'm probably gonna have to cut this open after today. But I'm getting there on it. I just have so many primers, so I'm trying to get some of them eased up. Okay, so next is my Franken Glow, which is what I've dubbed this. This is a mixture of three products. The e.l.f. Um, Suntouchable Woe well Glow Sunscreen, the L'Oreal Glotion in the shade 1, and the In Project or In Beauty Project Face Glaze Highlighting Gel Cream. All of those had um, very little in them or the packaging was broken, so I mixed them together. So this is kind of just like an extra added glowy primer. I uh, don't do a lot of frankening, but I was definitely inspired by Erin. I'll leave her link down below as well as my girl Kyra at Journey and Beauty. You all know her. And of course, she's always linked in my description. But I decided to try some frankening, so that's what I did with those. All right, so next for foundation, we're using the Hamish BB Moringa Ceramide Tinted Moisturizer Makeup Plus Sunscreen SPF 30. So I'm going to have plenty of sunscreen on. <laughs> It's too bad it's like 4.30 in the afternoon and I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I do about two pumps of that and then I kind of dot it on my face. And then today I'm lazy so I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge to blend that because I don't feel like using a brush. So I love this stuff though. It's really nice and lightweight and pretty on the skin. So how is project panning going for you guys? Um, I will have my first update coming, quarterly update coming on my 2024 project pan on the 1st of May. But in the meantime, I'm working on a skincare project pan, which you would have already seen the intro to, as well as deck of panning. And so um, all of those are in my project pan playlist, which will be linked below as well as on the end screen for you in case you just need some project pan videos. It feels good to be back into project painting because I can't really afford to be spending a lot of money right now and my girl Cairo was so generous and I'm gonna go into just a tiny bit more of that. I don't feel like I got it very much on this side. She um costed my entire makeup collection out for me and I was a little shocked at some of the numbers. Let me know if you guys want to see a video about that. She just did one on her channel um about that with her numbers and I could definitely take my cue from her and do a video if you guys are interested in those numbers. I know not everybody is number geeks but and I don't mean that in a negative way uh so just let me know if you do want to see that I would definitely film it for you. So next is the Bobbi Brown corrector. I dug it out and it was down to the plastic so it's in this little pot and it's in the shade light bisque so there's what I have left of that there was more of it in the um bottom after the plast after I hit plastic than what I anticipated so I'm just using this brush and I have it in this little pot I do love this corrector but I um love the NYX fix stick concealer and they have a pinky peachy corrector now and so I want to try that when I'm done with the Bobbi Brown one and I like to just press this in with my fingers to warm it up. Then we're going to go in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I do like this concealer, but I have way too many concealers. And I need to get through some of them. So I've been working on this one for a while. It's got some windowing and stuff in it, but 
It's definitely gonna be a while, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that with my brush. And because I have liquids or creams and powders in my project pan for cheek products, we're going to layer today. So I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. This one has really good pan in it. I'm gonna try not to go too heavy since I'm gonna go over it with a powdered bronzer. But um, I really do love this one. I think it's super pretty. All right. So then we are going to go in with the blush on the Love Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter from Natasha Denona. And use this brush here. This is a really pretty shade of blush. Um, and this one is in my deck of panning. The Makeup Revolutions in my regular... 2024 project pan and today will be my final use on this for deck of panning which I'm excited about so I can roll something new in all right so there's that and I'll leave that out because I'm going to go back over that with the highlighter here in a minute So then we're going to go in with the Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze, which is also in Deca Panning. Also has pan in it. And I'm going to add that with my fingers. Look how pretty that is. All right. So now we're going to go in and set my face with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light Pink. I am trying to get this used up because I found another Holy Grail powder and this one is pretty old. I mean, I have it in the old packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that with a little, big old fluffy brush. All right, so next in my 2024 project pan, we have the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. And... I am going, I'm so close to hitting pan in this. I'm hoping I can by my update on the first, but we're gonna put a little bit of that on over the top of the cream products. I was kind of hoping like maybe I would hit pan today, but I don't think I'm going to. I swear this thing has been kicking around for years and I still haven't hit pan on it and I use it quite a bit. Okay. So then we're going to go in with the blush in Bellini over the top. I'm nowhere near hitting pan on that one. Actually, I'm starting to be able to see a little bit of the pan, like the rings, which means I'm getting closer. And then I'm going to just take this and kind of blend those edges so they're not so harsh. And then we'll go back in and use the highlighter on the blush and bronzer duo. This is really pretty duo chromey kind of highlighter. Oops, I about stuck that in the blush. All right, so there's that. So I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows real quick, and then we will come back and do right. my look. Brows are done, eyeshadow primer is on, so we're going to go into my 2024 project pan. Um, eyeshadow palette that I'm working on, this is the Elf I Love You A Latte, and I'm trying to get this used up, so we're gonna go into the cream shade, that is, this is all matte, and set the eyeshadow primer from the crease up. So I, uh, would love to know what other kinds of videos you guys would like to see regarding like not spending money and project panning, things like that. Is there anything specific that you would like to see? Um, I'm not saying that I won't buy any makeup the rest of the year, but I definitely have to cut back on what I'm spending. And so I'm trying to find other content that actually means something to you guys and that you'll watch. I've been doing a lot of like eyeshadow tutorial videos with my um, No Pan Left Behind palettes. So then I'm going to go in with the cooler toned shade here and I'm going to put that in the crease. But I, if there's anything specific, specific you guys would like to see, definitely let me know um, because I love taking your input into consideration when planning my videos. Um, if you're not watching my No Pan Left Behind series, that's also on my Project Pan playlist. And I did decide to add singles to it, 
So we're going to be using two of the three singles I rolled into it. I did a little short about that. If you guys want to watch that, it's my shorts playlist. I'll leave that linked below. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this warmer tone and I'm just going to blend the edge of this a little bit just to give it a little bit of warmth. Then we're going to take this brush and go into that warm shade and I'm going to put that on the bottom wash line. Then we're going to go into the two singles. I have in my, my, in my empty hourglass pan. So, uh, spoiler for that, my hourglass powder is gone. So we're going to go, these are Bulk Beauty Junkies shadows. This one is in the shade Iced Lace. So it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to go in with that. And I'm going to put that, I think I'm going to go in with my finger. And I'm going to put that all over the lid, like two thirds of the lid. I'm going to take this little brush and I'm going to blend that up into my crease. I actually don't mind shimmers in my crease. Okay, so there's how that's looking. And then the other one is called Sugar sh sh Sugared Shortbread. So I'm going to take this one on a little brush and we're going to add that to the inside part of the lid. And I am taking that up over that other shade just a little bit. This is not quite a matte, but it's not quite all shimmer either. I would say it's more like a satin. Okay, and then on the brow bone. All right, so there is the eyeshadow look done. So I'm going to go in with the Project Pan Eyeliner. This is the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Mystic, and I'm going to tight line with that, put on some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, go finish my hair and put earrings on, then we'll come back and do a Project Pan lip combo. All right, so I'm ready to do my lip combo. So we're going to go in with the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Lip Liner and It's a Girl that's in my deck of panning. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to fill my lips in a little with that. All right. And I know this is going to look funny, but I'm going to use a red lip. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint in a Go Go that's in my deck of panning that I'm trying to finish. And I thought that would make a pretty combo. I've been wanting to try that. I think that looks pretty. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of the Rimmel London Stay Glossy and Blushing Belgrades. It's in my 2024 project. All right, so here is my final look. I will insert pictures up close in natural lighting. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your projects are going. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know you enjoy these Project P and Get Ready With Me videos. Be sure to check out my entire playlist linked down below. And if you're not already following me or subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. They are all linked down below. And I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.